We're gonna do some Florida Keys backcountry fishing. My buddy Alec invited me out on his 20 foot lake and bay and we're gonna be running out into the bay side of the upper Keys, which is actually considered part of the Everglades where you can find tarpon, snapper, snook, redfish, and all sorts of inshore fish in these parts. But today we're specifically targeting spotted sea trout and we're going to be fishing with all artificial baits today. We're going to be using these white shrimp gulp lures which we'll put on a weighted jig head under a popping cork. I'll show you in just a moment what those look like but first we need to take a quick boat ride to our spot. Let's pause the video for a second for Corporate Heiko to make a message because I got bills to pay and I got to thank this video's sponsor Face Mega, which lets you upload anything and deep fake anyone. You can put your face on celebrities, on movie stars, whatever you want. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's see. The first thing that you wanna do is take a picture of yourself. Probably should take my hat off. Wow, I look beautiful. All right, then what you're gonna do is you wanna find somebody you wanna put your face on. And there's a ton of options, MMA fighters, movie stars. Here we go, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Let's do it. It takes about 30 seconds for this thing to render the video for us. I think it's done. All right, here we go, let's take a look. And there is I as Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I'm not gonna lie, these videos are kind of fun to make. Share them with your friends. Oh, how would I look as a jack dude? Not too bad. I promise I'm all natural. <clears throat> Thank you to Face Mega for sponsoring this video. The link to download the app is gonna be in the video description below. I'll also pin a comment where you can download the app. Check it out if you're interested. And now, back to the fishing video. Ah, uh, yeah. I just have a hook on here right yep. now. Here, I'll uh, set this one up and you can start. Oh, thank you. See what she's made of. All right, on to fishing. We have a popping cork, which I'll link in the video description below. About three feet of 15 pound leader to our gulp bait. Come here, fish. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 ladyfish. Not a bad sign. Usually in the same spot. <laughs> it's like a tarpon. Come on, give me one more jump. The poor man's tarpon. <laughs> These are good deep drop baits. Are they? Like chunked up. Like redfish and stuff. They were. Ooh, baby trout, little baby. A dinker. Yeah, let's get mama to bite. Maybe if you like tickle him underwater and he's like, ah, then mama will get upset and come. Wish my boat was working. Oh! Ooh! Hoo -hoo. He's bigger! He's bigger! They gotta be 15 inches. Come here, you. Beautiful fish, though. He's fat. No, he's a 16 incher. Should we let him go or should we keep him? It's up to you. If I throw him back, I might not catch another one. All right, we're going to let him go for good karma. All right. But if I catch another one, he's going in the box. <laughs> oh, I better not regret this. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get a 17 incher. Yeah, Oh! I had a hit. Yeah. These gulps, they sure do love them gulps. I don't know what it is. They like it better than the live shrimp. Yeah, you don't have to put a new one on every time. You probably should have kept that fish. <laughs> probably should have kept that fish. I'm starting to have regrets. What's your favorite way to cook them? I, I love either like a pan fried trout or um, we call it veneers. Like uh, butter, butter, uh, wine sauce. Oh yeah. I think most fish are pretty good. It's, you just have to cook them, right? Yeah. I think I got a fish. I got a fish. What is it? What is it? It's swimming like a trout. 
Ooh, is that the 18 incher? He looks a little bigger than the other one. Might be a little bigger. Karma. There you go. Oh, don't get away from me now. <laughs> well, his or his gills got cut, so he's gonna die anyways. Dinner. Yeah. You cut their gills when you like you bleed them out, or you can if you want. There's his heart. I found his heart. His heart is still beating. Back here. <laughs> All right, dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard heart is delicious. I mean, it's one big muscle, basically. I've never tried balls, but and liver is supposed to be good for you. Come on, hit it. That looks like it should just get whacked. If I did get one though, it'd have to be through a dealer because I need a, I would probably have to. F oh, something nice just whacked it. I saw it come up and whack it. I know that I could get a good deal. Oh, 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 oh. that's the second fish I missed. Kind of hitting the same spot. I wonder if it's the same fish. I should hit up Yamaha and Mercury and I'll be like, listen, if you guys give me a free engine, I'll make a video slamming Evinrud and being like, everyone needs to buy your engine. Every Evinrud owner needs to switch to your engine. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Fish on. No. No. He ripped. Oh man, he destroyed this thing. He destroyed my big gulp. I've used big gulps, like I'll chunk, like chunk up the messed up ones and I'll use them on uh, pompano rigs oh, and catch pompano off the beach on them. Dang, that's a good idea. Oh, there goes the sun. Yeah, it's 5.30 and the sun just went down. Oh, something just grabbed it right here. Just as I was trying to enjoy the sunset. Oh, oh, is that a shark? Wait, no. Oh, that's a trout. Nice. <laughs> that is a little adorable little baby. Just a baby. It's just, I'm just a baby. I love casting with the wind. It flies so far. Oh! Yep, they're right back there. Oh! Oh! Was that a ladyfish? Yeah. That thing went flying. Oh, I got one. It looks like a trout. Yeah, a little baby. Pretty trout. Oh, you get yourself. All these little ones, they eventually got to become 20 inches, right? Oh, again, again with the jump. That was a good little ladyfish. Need the trolling motor? Yeah. Oh, it's hit it. That's a good bite. That was a decent bite right there, yeah. No. Oh, he got off. I. Oh, I'm on something. You got me another fish. Come home to daddy. Let me, let me give you a kiss goodnight before I toss you back in the water, little baby. He's so cute. That's a good little boy. They like grunt in their belly. It's funny. Forget what it is. I Ow. think they say only the males grunt. Oh. Well, he was definitely a male because he was all grunty. Oh, what was that? Oh, you got him on the top water? I threw it on to see if any of the bigger fish would bite, but not really. All right, well, he's bigger than the ones I wink. Oh, I'm on. Dang, this is like every cast we're hooking up right now. That sunset bite. 
Hello, what do we got? A little trout. Oh, self-release. Oh, oh, that was a nice strike. That was a good strike. Ooh, well, okay. He's getting manhandled in though, regardless. Sometimes the little ones have very feisty strikes. That is a good looking fish. If this was back in the colonial days, I'd put them in my little wicker basket. <laughs> Take them home. Little lady fish. Those make such good shark bait. Last cast, as they say. The biggest lie in the world. Might need a fresh beer for the ride home. Your maximum speed on here is 96. You hit 96 on this thing? Holy smokes. Wow, that is crazy. With everything we have on here today, I would think we could probably run like 83 to 86. So how do you get 96? By yourself? By myself and with a different prop. Look who we have here, Mr. Spotted Sea Trout from the Florida Keys, laying on some foil. For some reason, his head is like sticking straight up and I can't bend it back. For the sake of fitting him in this foil packet that I'm about to make, I'm gonna cut the head off. hi -yah! I got an onion, butter, and some olive oil. I also wanna get some herbs, so we're gonna walk down to my garden and we're gonna snip some herbs. We caught that trout yesterday, last evening. And man, Alex boat, that lake and bay, that thing goes fast, it does 96 miles an hour. That's only if Alec is on it by himself. When me and him are on it together, I think it does like 87 or something like that. This looks like some kind of, there's some cilantro. That looks like dill. That's not big enough to eat. But I do have some chives that are growing very well. I think we're just gonna take some chives. Gotta say, it feels pretty good when you grow your own stuff. Slice the lemons, slice the butter, about to slice the onions, and buddy, you want the head? You enjoy, pal. Chopped up, ready to go. We got our salt and pepper electric shaker that a subscriber sent to me, thank you, but we'll just pepper it up, salt it up. Put our butter on there. Put a couple up in, up inside of there. Bam, shazam. We'll squeeze two of our lemons on there. We'll also put about half of these on there. Drizzle some of that olive oil on there. More lemon, baby, more lemon. If I had a dash of white wine, I would also splash them in there. But I don't got no white wine, so this is what we're left with. We're gonna wrap it up, set the oven to 400, and wrap this sucker on up. What do you think, buddy? I'd say thumbs up too, okay. The oven's at 400 degrees. We'll drop it on in there. We'll set the timer to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. I just pulled it out of the oven. Let's see what we're working with. Woo! Where's a fork? Is it done? You know, I think it could use another five minutes in there. Putting it back in the oven. Squeeze a fresh lemon right over it. Boom! Kind of just peel the skin right off of it. Probably eat the skin if you really wanted to. I don't see why not. But I'm just gonna peel it back. Wow, look at that beautiful meat. I'll dump it in this buttery sauce. Woo! I got the meat. I've dumped it in the salty, buttery, lemony juice that it came with. Uh, let's give it a try. Oh, that is just melt in your mouth. 
I'll be honest though, I could probably cook it just a little bit longer. It doesn't taste raw, but it's like almost raw. I thought I was gonna need some white wine in there, but it is amazing without it. Florida Keys spotted sea trout baked with butter, salt, and lemon, and some homegrown chives. Man, we're doing it good here on the South Florida Fishing Channel. I hope you enjoyed this. If you ever come down to the Keys, definitely hit up the backcountry. Throw some gulp lures around, and you can support the channel. Pick up yourself some of these popping corks that we use. The, the trout, just when they hear that, they come up to inspect it, and they see your gulp shrimp right behind it, and bam, they will slam it. So remember, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com if you want to help me out. Every purchase helps me make more videos like this so I can go full-time putting out videos. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button. Please leave a comment and I'll catch you guys on the very next episode. Cheers. Cheers.